We're gonna be working on collar choke escape. I'm gonna be my partner's guard from that position. So partner's down, gonna have me in a closed guard position. She's gonna put one hand high into the collar, come through with the other side. A lot of times a good way for this to work is this. I'll actually partner have me tap, so I have her submit, and that way it'll teach me, and then she loosens up just a little bit and allow me to work the submission. So her right hand's on top and that's key. So I'm gonna take my right hand and I wanna go between her arms, but I can't go short. I gotta drive all the way through and then I'm gonna pull that hand back up to cup the back of my neck. And here's a key that a lot of people don't follow up on is when my partner does her, her submission and I go to defend, I've exposed my back. So as I tuck down here, she can release that choke, start to climb around. Now I'm in even worse trouble. So we wanna pin our partner to the floor. So she goes for the choke. She, I'll let her tap me out, that's good. And then she loosens up a little bit. And then with this free hand, I'm gonna grab her belt. Whatever she has, I'm gonna pin that down. So when she tries to climb around, she's stuck to the floor and I don't get into a worse position.